Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault and once again I'm coming to you with another product review. And the product that we're going to be taking a look at today is a magnifier, more specifically a magnifier for a red dot. And this is coming from a company that I have reviewed a few other products from and it is... Fiaki or Fiachi, not sure how to pronounce that. Yes, it is made in China, even though the name sounds like it would probably be Italian. Now, this is a five times magnifier, and that's a little bit more powerful than many of its competitors that are typically three times magnifiers. So this one also flips to the side. So I think they're trying to compete with the EOTech magnifiers, but at a more affordable price point. So I'm excited to see what's in this box. We're gonna mount it to this rifle, take it to the range, and see how it works and see if it has any features that its competitors don't have. So let me go ahead and adjust the camera. Let's unbox this and see what's inside. So here's the box this magnifier comes in. It seems to be well packaged. Let's open it up, remove the foam. We start off with the user manual. I guess the model is the M38 five times magnifier. We have some mounting hardware. We get a cleaning cloth a tool of some kind, it looks like it's an Allen wrench, and of course we get the magnifier itself. Let's dig this out of the box. And it comes already on the mount. Now this mount does not appear to be spring-loaded. You adjust it by pushing a button here on the side, and that will allow you to open and close it. It seems to be a little bit bigger and longer than the EOTech. We do have some adjustments here on the side and we have a fine focus in the rear. So it seems to be well built and robust. I don't see any manufacturing problems with it. Everything seems to be included. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount this to my rifle. We'll see what the footprint looks like, how much real estate it takes up on the rail, and then we will take it to the range and find out how it works. So I have this magnifier mounted up on my North Star Arms NS-15 rifle and I have paired it with a CV Life red dot. Now this is an affordable red dot that I recently reviewed here at the Texas Gun Vault. And the reason that I put these two together is I feel that somebody that would be interested in an affordable magnifier most likely has an affordable red dot. I don't think there's going to be many people out there that are going to go buy an eight or $900 aim point and buy this magnifier. So I felt like this was a reasonable combination that somebody that would be interested in this product would pair it with. So let's take a look now at this magnifier. There are a couple things that I have noticed. The first thing is it's very long and takes up quite a bit of real estate. Because of its length, you don't have the option of mounting this red dot back any further. And I tried to put everything on the upper receiver without using any of the rail on the handguard. You'll notice it's mounted so far back, I have to take off the backup iron sights and that also allows me to get the lens as far back as possible so I can get the best eye relief. Now when it comes to flipping to the side this button kind of gets in the way of your charging handle. You can still reach it but everything is kind of clustered together. This might make the manual of arms a little bit more difficult because you don't have a lot of room to get your fingers into that charging handle or to push that button. An interesting feature that this magnifier has are these adjustments here at the top. And these are to adjust elevation and windage, but not of the point of impact of the dot, but to center the dot in your field of view inside of the magnifier. The clicks work really well, and I have tested it, and it does move that dot where you want it to be. So I do find that to be kind of nice. So overall, as it sits here on the rifle, my biggest complaint is its size. And that's because I think they were going for a higher magnification. Right now, I think they should have gone with a three times magnification and made the footprint just a little bit tinier. But we need to go to the range and see how this thing performs. So let's go to the range. I'll try to shoot this unmagnified. Then with the magnification, I'll tell you my experiences, how the dot looks through it, and if I have any issues.
And we're back from the range and we discovered a few things about this magnifier, some positive and some negative. And let's start with the positive first. The first thing that's really nice about this is all of the adjustments. They seem to work. We have the knobs for the elevation and the windage to put that dot right in the center of your field of view. They definitely work, they definitely hold zero and they do not affect the point of impact. The fine focus at the back also works really well. I was able to dial that in and once I found where where it wanted to be, it held in place. This mount also holds in place. I was kind of worried about that. Sometimes when we have these single screws, they will back themselves out after a lot of use. I had no problems with the mount whatsoever. But now let's talk about a couple things that are negative about this magnifier. And unfortunately, I think they outweigh the positive. The first thing, this magnifier, in my opinion, has a very unforgiving eye relief. In fact, my eye has to be very close to this magnifier. And even though I have it mounted as far back as I can on this upper receiver, I was having to move my head uncomfortably close to it just to get a good field of view. If you can't get your head close to it, it's not going to work for you. Now, the other thing that I didn't like is how much it moves. Now, not the mount, but the actual magnifier itself. It does wobble just a little bit, but it's enough that's noticeable and that is where the ones that are spring-loaded do not have an issue because it always has that pressure trying to either keep it open or closed. And that added pressure prevents that little bit of motion. I noticed that especially when I was shooting in rapid succession, it just moves enough that you're aware of it. It's just not as tight as, let's say, an EOTech. And because of those two things, I don't really like this magnifier. It's too big, takes up too much real estate, and most importantly, that eye relief is very unforgiving. Now, does it work? Yes, it does. My other complaint would be that when it magnifies the dot, it also really exaggerates the tail of the dot. Most people have an astigmatism, and when you look at a red dot, you actually will have a little bit of a tail going in one direction or another. For me, typically the tail is going to go to the right and down, and normally when it comes to a small red dot like this, I don't notice it. But when I have it magnified through this magnifier, 
it is exaggerated. It's very large, and I have to know where the center of that dot is. It looks more like a streak than a dot, so I didn't like that either. I don't seem to have that problem when it comes to my EOTech, but it does work, and I would say it is about five times magnification. So, overall, it was okay, but it's not a product that I would necessarily recommend. And the biggest issue, once again, is the eye relief. It's just so unforgiving, and you have to have your eye so close to it for it to work, and you can only mount it so far back. That needs to be addressed. So on my star system, how would I rate the magnifier from Fioki? Well, this magnifier is only going to get 2.5 stars out of five. It does work. It does seem to be well built, but the features need to be adjusted. That eye relief has to be fixed. I need it to be further away or have a different mounting option where you can mount it further back. But as it sits, it's not a magnifier that I'm probably going to use in the future. But it does work and it may work for you. It just depends on your personal preferences. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you like to run these magnifiers? And what do you think about this one? And as always, thanks for watching.